because I mean, the fact that in 1969, with less computing power than your smartphone has, people flew a half a million miles round trip to the moon and back and survived and been, managed to bring all these amazing rocks back that have taught us about the entire solar system. Um, it's just, as a geologist, these are the holy grail for, um, for, for science. They're actually priceless. I mean, uh, we, we at this point we can't go back and get any more. Uh, there are plans to do so, but this is what what we have right now is what we have. So they're very worth um, being protected. Because we know how old this is, we can see how many craters like that there are in the moon. And where's the one you said was the very oldest? But I know they were ready for the building. You got three and a half hours. Like the, they were ready. It's like okay, you guys, time for home. Have a seen asked on and we don't want that. And so. And again, that was planned for by astronauts. I'd love to see the ball. ...for more than one mission in the same cabinet. The reason we have so many cabinets is each mission gets its own cabinet. Oh. And Apollo 16 and 17 get two cabinets because they brought back half the mass. And that allows us to work on them. And there's 125 groups around the world who are actually studying the samples. So it's my job to get them the best samples possible and actually make everyone else's science better. And for me, that's really satisfying. Everything from large bag samples like this to samples, so there's that. And then this is like the sample that's on display out there. The real uh, display samples that was made from the original. Gives us information on the earliest history in our solar system where that record just doesn't exist anymore on the Earth. So the two that are going to get opened are this one here and that one there. And those are both from Apollo 17. So this one was sealed under vacuum on the moon and then brought back, never opened. Science instruments are four, five, six generations more sensitive, and we can do more with the milligram than we could do with the gram back then. Time was so compressed, they didn't have time to switch. On later missions, they changed jobs. Like sometimes one person would have the camera. Sometimes each time I put my hands in the cabinet and pick up a sample, I think about, okay, this came from the moon. You know, like you would be really nice, you know, and. Because he came, Charlie Duke came to Apollo, uh, Washington University as, when I was there.